Hi everybody, welcome back and thank you for watching. Today I'm just going to share a few new bits and bobs that I'm really liking. It's mostly fashion, but there's some non-fashion things in here too, which I just wanted to throw into the mix. Um, definitely I'm starting to gear up for all of like the autumn winter content, just feel a bit of an in-betweeny point at the moment while the shops start to get their stock going so I can really get going with all the testing basics, like some transitional styling videos, things like that. So in the meantime, before I can really get my teeth stuck into all of that, just thought I'd share some new things. So I'll start with the clothes. I'm going to start with knitwear. I went to Weekday yesterday. They gave me a voucher. There's a new shop um, that's open on Regent Street in London. Um, and they stock Weekday. They have their own website that ships to the UK. And they also stock on ASOS. But the stock on ASOS is always really bad. Like, it sells out really quick. So I went into store with my voucher and just bought a load of knitwear. And they have some really great knits on the high street. A, a huge selection as well, like they seem to have got stuff in kind of early, like I've not seen this many knits in any other high street shop yet. So first of all I've got this green one, I think the this one and this pink one are around £45. Um, I really really like the shade of green, it's got really nice big sleeves and everything. And then this light pinky purpley, maybe this is lilac, yeah I think it could be, it might not be there. This one anyway, um, as well. Honestly, the sounds today, excuse those sirens, something's going on next door, it sounds like they're trying to drill into my living room, so if you can hear all these sounds, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, this one, they were kind of nice and cropped and just oversized and really good fitting, I got a size small in both of these, and then also, slightly more luxurious, they had a cashmere one, this was £90, I've had this on today, I've been shooting some outfits today, so... That's why it's inside out. Um, and it's in this really, really, really nice shade of grey green. And it's really, really soft as well. Really nice cashmere. So last winter I got into cashmere because of testing basics. And this is definitely something I'm going to continue to invest in for this winter because my cashmere jumpers turn out to be some of my most worn ones. So this is from weekday. Also in size small. That was £90, as I just said. What else clothes-wise? I got so this, oh, this amazing jacket. This is kind of fancy this, it's from Diane von Furstenberg. Um, it's this bomber style satiny jacket. It's amazing, it's so thick and squishy. It's so cropped, it's just really like, really sticks out. Oh, I absolutely love how it looks. I wore it to Fashion Week over the weekend. And there's amazing lining and everything. Like it feels so, so super luxurious. I'm really, really, really pleased with it. It's kind of a bit different to the things that I've got as well. And um, I'm really into cropped jackets to wear with my high waisted straight leg jeans that I wear all of the time. So this was also new in and I've been wearing this pretty much every single day because it's been really cold as well and it's kind of like wearing a duvet. So that was that. And on the topic of jeans, this was really cool. So um, you probably heard me mention the brand Totem before. And some of you might remember Style by Kling, the fashion blog by Ellen Kling, which was like my Bible back in the day. I absolutely loved it. Um, it's her brand. She doesn't blog anymore, which is a real shame because of how much I loved her blog. But this is her brand. I have a few things from them. I have a jacket from them and some trousers, and that's everything, I think. But they sent me some legit jeans, which was like amazing. When you know, when certain brands get in touch with you and say we want to send you something, there were ones where I respect their aesthetic so much that I'm always really um, honoured and flattered when they also respect my aesthetic and my work. I'm like, oh my god. So that was one of those moments. Um, and they have this really cool twisted seam that go down the front. There's just a straight leg jean, but this is a little detailing on them. The seam twist down to the front, and they fit really nicely as well. So. I'm really, I'm just really chuffed that I've sent these really, I really, really like them. I wore these today as well and shot them today and I've actually had them on with this jumper. It's been, I had to take them off so I could film this, um, but it's been a good combination today. And then trousers, more trousers. I just got back from New York last week, obviously went to Reformation. Can't be in a city where there's a Reformation and not go in. Um, especially because their sizing is absolute, it's just the weirdest sizing, so ordering online is a bit of a no-go. But from what I've tried, well actually no, I tried on some other pants that were the same size and didn't fit at all. Honestly, it's the weirdest sizing in that shop. But I did pick these ones up, there's some stripy, straight leg style pants with a really high waist and this nice belt. They're really flattering. You know when you put something on, you're like, I think my bum might look quite good in these and I never really think that. So I got them for that reason. Um, and yeah, I like them. I like the stripes. I think it's going to just look cool with a turtleneck and some, I don't know, any shoes you fancy really. Some black boots. 
Converse Vans, just something easy, basically, for when it gets a bit colder and a leather jacket or something. Anything to get me out of denim. I know I say this all the time and then still wear jeans all the time, but I do always try to not wear some jeans. Uh, and then shoes, let's quickly do one pair of shoes here. These, when I was in New York, I worked on a blog post with June for their new autumn winter collection, so I had to pick out three pairs of shoes for that blog post. Um, and these are one of them. I, I've worn them, I've worn them three times now. Uh, yeah, once in New York and then twice since I've got back, which is only like in the space of a week. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it's all been within one week. So there's these red suede boots with, the heel is honestly a little bit lower than I would normally go for. I'm a fan of a bit more of a heel than this, but it kind of looks super, super cool. Like kitten heels are everywhere. I can't really get on board with them, but this is a bit higher than a kitten heel. Um, and these are really comfortable, like, I've walked a really long way in these and they just look great, I love the shade of red, they look really great, they look amazing with any denim but I really like them with light wash denim, you know those straight leg and the stories ones that I wear all the time they look amazing with that, so I wanted to mention them because I've been really 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 loving them they're just, they're really cool, like the height of them is really good with the cropped denim as well I've been really loving these just staying with what I got in New York a while longer, obviously I went to Glossier. I actually genuinely wouldn't have gone there off my own back. I went because Lindsay really wanted, oh flipping out, what's it called? It's called something like the phase one set. I bought it for myself as well because I didn't want to not have it if she then said it was really good. And it's got like a face wash in it, a primer. I haven't tried any of them yet. But I ended up getting distracted and I picked up two makeup bits. And I do really like them. I feel like it is, I know this brand gets so much like hype and fuss and everything. Um, I think it's partly just like a good concept which, and the right time and the right place and all of that jazz. But their makeup is really good if like me, you kind of like low key makeup that doesn't take a long time. I think it definitely really appeals to that sort of, um, you know, that way of getting ready really quickly basically. So I picked up the Cloud Paint in Puff, which is just blusher. Honestly, it's so foolproof. You just shove so many fingers and do this, so I really like it. And um, the colour's really nice as well. And then the boy brow um, in brown, yeah, brown, which is good. It's just a brow gel. I mean, it's like nothing to write home about. It's kind of I always use the L'Oreal brow gel, and it's not like oh my god, wow, in comparison to that. But it is, it is, it is really nice, and I really like how small the little thing is. So it's nice. Maybe it's not actually a brow gel, does it make? Well, it kind of makes them sticky. I've got it on today. It definitely does a nice job of thickening them out and making them look like boy brows, which is, I'm guessing, why it's called that. So, those are two things I wanted to mention. I think once it comes to the UK, which is pretty imminently, I, th I think, they're definitely coming over here soon, then it's worth checking out all the fuss about it. Um, yeah, it's cool. The packaging is cool, isn't it? It is cool. Fair enough, it's cool. Um, so, yeah, that was makeup. Some homeware bits. Oh, actually, I want to show you something that I want. One minute. I'll put a photo in um, properly, but the other, day, the other day, while I was at Fashion Week, I saw this woman with this Loewe puzzle bag, and you guys know how much I love my Loewe puzzle bag. It's probably, if, I, if someone said to me, I'm going to buy an investment handbag, a designer handbag, which one should I get? Oh my gosh, I hate it when a website's got noise on it. Um, I'd say, go and get the Loewe puzzle. It's the best designer handbag I've ever ever had um, and I saw this woman with this one oh my gosh be still my beating heart it's like a tan one with these I'll put a proper photo in here with all these like stitching details bits hanging off it left right and center loads of extra detailing on the handle <gasps> I, on it it looked amazing she had on like a black coat with it it just looked insane and I'm desperate for it I'll just say how much it is which is always suspicious when something doesn't disclose the price. Let's see. No, it just says not available. Mm. Anyway, I can, can't afford to get it right now because I've ordered a coffee table. If you, any of you who watch my vlogs will know I've ordered this coffee table. I think it's walking here on its tiny little legs. God only knows where that is, I ordered it weeks ago. But maybe, maybe it's my birthday in November, so maybe it's a birthday present to me from me. I might get another puzzle bag because they're honestly the best bags ever. So yeah, I wanted to mention that. Um, and yeah, some homeware stuff, just two things. I'm gonna have to put cutaways in here because I can't pick either of them up. Finally got some prints hung up properly. I had to get handyman around to do it. And the first one is this one, it's by an artist called Anne Nowak, Novak, I'm not sure how you pronounce the surname. 
Um, and I saw this in Copenhagen. I think I've mentioned before that all the artwork that I have here, I, w I want them all to have a story behind it. So if I have a friend around and they say, oh, where did you get that from? Then I'll say, oh, my uncle drew this. It's a sketch from this. Or, oh, this is a picture of, you know, a place where I used to live or something like that. So this one I saw in Copenhagen when I, when I was with Lindsay there for Fashion Week last month. Um, and just saw it in the shop and you know when something really, really, really gets you. And we had such a laugh in Copenhagen. On it. We laughed and laughed. You know, you laughed till you hurt. It was a really good, fun trip. So um, I couldn't get it in the shop because they'd sold out. So I ordered it online when I got home and had it framed. A great expense. It's so expensive framing stuff. But it's worth every penny because it looks beautiful hung here. I'm so happy with it. So, so happy with it. Um, so that was one new homeware thing and another thing is this um, plant pot that I've got, so a white ceramic plant pot from the Conran store which if you London based is well worth going to to just have a mooch around and get some inspiration. They have beautiful homewares, beautiful design homeware um, and interior things as well. So this is stunning. I spent so long trying to find a plant pot for this palm which is just from Ikea. I've had it since before I moved into Manchester so a few years now. Um, I spent so long looking for a plant pot, who'd have known it was so hard to find a plant pot? I mean, this one was just absolutely perfect. It wasn't cheap, that shop is not cheap, I think it was about £70, which is pretty steep for just some white ceramic, but it looks absolutely great, I'm so pleased with it. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just want you to see that's kind of like laid back, because I've got loads of really like, well I hope that you think they're cool ideas, but loads of good ideas for autumn winter content and just sort of waiting to get the right things in and, and also what I don't want to do is just buy in excess to create content and really have done that in previous seasons where it's like go and spend a load of money on ASOS and a load of things that aren't necessarily going to have any longevity in my wardrobe so I don't want to recommend them to have longevity in your wardrobe so I'm trying to do it a bit more thoughtfully this time around as well. But anyway, more of that to come. Thank you so much for watching. Links for everything in the description box as always and I'll see you in the next one.